I'm just going to start by saying that I, I'm not going to do the voice. Um, <laughs> that would break my Fuji code of honor, okay? I actually, the first time I heard Fujiko's voice, it was funny. It was a few weeks ago. She gave me a call on the phone, and then I said, uh, no, I would not like to ex uh, renew my car's extended warranty. <laughs> Thank you for the warranty. <laughs> Max looks like Captain America. But I meant by Captain Make America Great Again. Did you just hit on me, Fuji? What the fuck? You're not my type. <laughs> I mean, I caught a vibe in the green room, so I'll just... <laughs> Okay, so Fujiko is a bit of a character, and I know what you were all thinking when she first walked on stage. Is is she on pills? What the fuck is good? Fujiko interacts with the world like it's her first day out of a cult. It must be a nice cult. Would you like to join? I don't know what a cult is, so. I can teach you later. Max looks like a Disney prince, so call him Prince Harming because he lost his virginity to Sleeping Beauty, but she still doesn't know yet. Uh, Fujiko produces a comedy show at a different venue that she calls uh, Laugh Out Love. And no, I'm not imagining her trying to pronounce Laugh Out Love, okay? <laughs> That's not extremely hilarious. That's the name of the show. Okay? I'm so grateful he's actually, you know, announcing my show here. Thank you for your collaboration. <laughs> Max looks like a pussy. Oh, sorry, I have more. He's so soft, the shaman bears use him to wipe the shit from little bear assholes. <laughs> Guys, this, this, her notebook just says the N-word a hundred times. No, it's a Bad Fujiko, bad. <laughs> Fuji, no. It's the N-word. <laughs> oh man, chasing my dream, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so Fujiko is so tiny, that one time she fell into wet cement, and then the shape she left went viral for being the shape of a rat. <laughs> That's so cute. Very cute. Very cute, yeah. Yeah, very cute. If Max was in Toy Story, he'd be Udi. But if he was in the prison, he'd be the bitch. <laughs> so you pull the string on his back, and it would be like, oh. There's a dick in my ass. I love you. Fujiko's, uh, I, she's really busy. I'm surprised she could make it here tonight. She, uh, you know, she works full time. She produces a comedy show, and most of all, she's always standing in front of national monuments with a selfie stick. Because <laughs> he uses it too. Max is so white. How 
Al White is the name of your father. He listens to NPR, Nazi Propaganda Radio. And he is so white, he asks for the manager, but says manager with the hard R. Guys, give it up for the first round of this. Doing three. It's not over. First. Oh my God, who'd you go? You got some fans in the back, rowdy. I want to get first off to Brandon Kiefer. What did you think of whatever this was? That was in, that was incredibly close for that being her second language, Max. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> If you went to Japan, they would murder you. Uh, they would hard car you. Uh, I love both you guys. I don't, I got it, I don't know. I'm torn, because whatever Fujiko says, I love. All right. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, I, I, will give, I will give the first round to Max, though. Okay, Max gets a vote, hell yeah. And a surprise to no one, all the white women started shrieking for Max. I want, a, I want next thoughts from Jessica. Max and Fujiko are a couple I would watch on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and I have watched. And uh, <laughs> Fujiko, I thought you had some great comebacks. I love how dark you can get. I love all of your stuff. Um, that uh, inward 100 times joke was great, Max. Um, Max, I think you, you won the first round for me. OK, Max is two more. Kevin Kellen. Oh. God damn. Uh, I like that Max could have been racist, but told the audience, hey, the racism is over here. You guys think the racism. You painted the racist picture in their minds, and then you told them to be racist. It was very thinking. Uh, and for that, I'm going to go with Max in the first round. Max wins round one. Yeah. But I do want final thoughts here from Nathan. I gotta agree with Kevin, man. Uh, Max coming out saying I'm not doing the voice to start it off and made us all do the voice in our heads. <laughs> Don't doubt, you did the voice, every one of you. But uh, yeah, Fujiko's rebuttals uh, were top notch. So actually, I'm gonna go with her because she was hitting you back on that. Okay, Fujiko. Final thoughts. Yeah, what a fantastic first round. Holy shit. It, it was a battle, not even the jokes, the comebacks. Uh, Fuji no, <laughs> and break my Fuji code. It's fucking, I love wordplay. Uh, but we gotta admit, Fujiko got two breaks. She got two applause breaks and a chance, so my vote's gonna be for Fujiko. Okay, contested, but Max wins round one. This next round is not gonna be typical. We're gonna go one, uh, one minute, uninterrupted, each person. Max, you started the first round, so you're gonna start the second round. One minute, uninterrupted, from Fujiko, everybody. Three, two, one! Roast! My strength is positive comedy, and even in roast. And I would love to spread the love and positive energy to everyone, but Max, I know you have been struggling with some health issues and some pain. And we are here for you. So today I invited his doctor to diagnose so we can all support you. Can the doctor come to the stage, please? What's his symptom? Symptom is. Did you like your medication? It's terminal. It's terminal. It's okay. I brought you some hospital gown for you. We love you. Thank you so much, doctor. Hey, Max, it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get better insurance. That's all I gotta say. Well, here I go. Um, this, uh... 
This is fucking insane. This is ridiculous. Like, this shouldn't be happening. When I started doing comedy, it wasn't my dream to, like, insult immigrants trying their best, you know? <laughs> I don't want to do this. You think... <laughs> I have to, like... I'm tasked with making fun of a animated Disney character. This sucks. <laughs> For real, you think, you think when Michael Jordan was pitched the movie Space Jam, he would have said no if in the script it said, you gotta beat the shit out of Lola Bunny. This is... <laughs> This is, a, this is, like, honestly, the next presidential debates. You got Fuji Joe Biden, who is 80% aware of what's going on. And then you got me, some asshole, who's, like, pretty good at debates, but you don't want him to win. Okay, the last thing I'll say is Fujiko has this crazy advantage in roast battles because of the language barrier. It's so cute and endearing. It's like, you know when someone's mentally challenged and they're like really strong? That's what I'm up against. She's got roast battle retard strength. Holy shit, round two in the book. I'm hard, but um, I'm not sure which round got me there, but I'm there. I want, I want first thoughts, actually, from Jessica Mizra. What, what did you think about what just happened up here? I have a lot of thoughts. Kuchiko, I love that you brought a doctor up there, even though in America that's really gonna cost you. <laughs> Amazing. That was so great, but Max, I feel like you won it with that self-referential stuff that really like crescendoed into something amazing. I really love that. For me, for me Max, Max won that round. Okay, Max gets a vote. Give it up for Max. And round two, he gets a vote. Kevin. Wow, that, that whole health insurance bit makes me want to move to Canada. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, but I, I also feel bad that, that we opened it, we saw it said gay, and then they had to pick it up, and then it said gay. <laughs> it, it was like someone fumbling a proposal. Like, ah, here's the ring, oh shit! <laughs> like, I, like, uh, I thought that was an incredibly wild, fun bit. I enjoyed that uh, we have a doctor who doesn't seem like a real doctor. <laughs> Seems like a hangs out at gymnastics tournaments doctor. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I'm sorry. I ruined gymnastics for you. <laughs> Let me get off the pummel horse here for a fucking minute. Uh, but the thing is, Max was ready, and you threw something at him that he didn't know, and then immediately he had a health insurance riff that he clearly didn't write. He just riffed that, and then he had a minute of material that was like bringing you out to pasture. Deep water, Max swam out there. I'm going with Max. Nathan. That was a wild haiku we had to watch. Uh, that just, I, the doctor wasn't Asian, that blew my mind. Uh, uh, but I gotta say, Max fulfilled every open micer and back stream and got away with saying retard and it was hilarious. So I'm gonna go with Max. <laughs> Max wins the tournament, everybody. Holy shit. I'm not done here. I want, I want thoughts from Tito. Max just won, but what did you think of that specific round? Uh, wow. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, wow. Uh, listen, I'm, listen, I was in the battle last year. I don't know if you caught the video, but this fucker brought a Mexican on stage to be my dad. <laughs> and it fucking murdered. Uh, people were chanting his name. It was gay. Uh, it's terrible. I think, Fujiko, you, you went for it. You gave it your all. You brought somebody on. It was clever. You really brought it. But I will say, Max, this is a joke writing, uh, this is a joke writing battle, and Max had the joke, self-deprecating, and you've just been on fire for a minute, so I was gonna go with Max. Okay, Max, let's go. Keeper. 
Max, you were diagnosed gay, and she said it was terminal. Uh, I think after this, you should go to the hospital immediately <laughs> so you don't die from homosexuality. Uh, as a guy who lost last year because he tried a prop bit and no one respected it. <laughs> you fucking losers. Uh, Fujiko, you have my vote, goddammit. <laughs> now, if we were to shit your show, big like, oh, Max won, give him the belt, white guy wins again. <laughs> you go. But these two have worked too long and too hard for it to end there, and I know that they have material pe prepared for a third round. <laughs> hear that third round. Uh, Fujiko, she's quite the workhorse. You know, she she works full time. She's new to this country. She does comedy in a second language. She she made it to the finals here. She's really got that dog in her, assuming she ate dinner. Uh, I didn't know what that means, actually. <laughs> For the best. <laughs> Any girl who goes on a date with Max Sorich wakes up with. Sores and an itch. It's true, I do have herpes. That's a good, yeah. I know you do. <laughs> um, Fujiko loves karaoke. You know what karaoke is. It's where you go on stage and you say someone else's words. Kind of like exactly what she's doing right now. <laughs> is that it? Okay. Max was in porno version of Home Alone. Oh. Called Born Alone. <laughs> where he jacks off in the mirror. <laughs> and when he come, he goes, ah! It is scary. Um, so Fujiko's an accountant. It actually, it took her seven times to pass her CPA exam. And it had nothing to do with the material. She just, she kept crashing her car in the parking lot. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a good driver. Max works as a barista. Imagine this like pervy smirk when he turns the iPad to you for a tip. <laughs> Girl, I'll give you a tip. Maybe you should quit comedy and then start doing the gay porno so you can be really like Max so rich. That joke took longer than you trying to parallel park. Fujiko, this isn't the first uh, competition she's been in. She actually won a beauty pageant in Japan. She was crowned Miss Pronunciation. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So it's been an honor to battle with you. It's like a classic Rocky versus the bully. Like a Karate Kid versus Cobra KKK. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so sick of this chop shtick at this point. Oh! Dude, how funny would it be if at the end of this com uh, competition, Fujiko just dropped the accent? Yeah. I can't fucking believe you idiots fell for that. Fuji who the fuck's named Fujiko, all right? I know more soupies with more believable backgrounds than Fujiko, fucking idiots. That's, that was supposed to be the closer, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Max came from a very loving family, and his parents are really proud of him because he's a proud boy. <laughs> so his parents cheered on January 6th, saying, like, Go, Max, we love you. Shit on Nancy Pelosi's desk. <laughs> Give it up for them, everyone. <laughs> wow. 
from what I've understood from Fujiko, you are gay. Take this belt. He wins. I want one thing known to you. Fujiko, when was your first roast battle? Forever. When, when was it? I think it was February it was 28th. Fe 28th. Oh, the first round. Four oh, weeks ago. Oh my God. And Woo! she's here. You guys stop clapping so quickly. You're like, all right, we get it. She's Asian. But Max, uh, honestly, looking at you, everything's probably going to work out. So <laughs> one more time for these two animals coming up here. Yes, I love them. Before we go, I know it's late, and I love you all for being out here. I want final thoughts from the panel. If you have any, Kevin, what did you think? Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Fujiko. God damn it. That was fucking incredible. There, there's, some, there's something to be said about doing comedy in general. Everyone's like, oh, I want to do comedy. And then you come to the United States and you do it in the second language. That was absolutely incredible. You should be very, very proud of yourself. Yeah. You're a fucking bright light. You're a bright light. Thank you so much. Maxim, Ma Max, you only won this because you're hot. That's the only reason. It's the only reason. There we go. And you're wearing it around your neck like a fucking asshole already. <laughs> Put it around your waist, you fucking dork. All right, hide the herpes, you fucking diseased, you diseased gay man. Nathan. That's funny. Uh, make some noise for Chris and Zanies for putting this on for you guys. All right, for our fucking show. Uh, winning four battles in a row is nothing to, you know, just poo-poo on. This, you guys both did great. Fujiko, it was great seeing you. Um, I, I'm excited to see what you do next year. This ruled. Max, it's been real cool seeing you grow in comedy from shitty little open micers sending me a veils I would ignore to like out here winning shit, man. I'm proud of you. Good job. All right, Max, hell yeah. Tito. Wow, just wow. Just absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys for putting in that work and entertaining us to shit. Fujiko, you're an immigrant's dream right now. There's going to be a movie about you on Netflix in like a week. Um, <laughs> it's called Squid Games. <laughs> Hey, green light. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. Uh, Fujiko, very impressed by, by your effort. You came, but Max definitely brought it. The dog in her and the mispronunciation. I mean, the flexing, the wordplay. Uh, Max came into play, but Fujiko, you put up a great fight. Very proud of you, girl. Yeah. Keep it. Fujiko, you I, legit, the first person you went against after your roast, I was like, ha, ha, how'd that go? And he's like, she whooped my ass. <laughs> and since then, I have been dying to watch you go up, and I fucking think it's fantastic. I love everything you're doing. This is your second language, and the fact that you made it to the finals is incredible. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie, Max was terrified of you. I know this for a fact. He came to my house and talked to me about this. <laughs> I love that you made it to the finals. I think you uh, did a great job, and I can't wait to see what you do in the future. Hell oh, yeah. Hell oh, yeah, previous champ, Jess Mizner, what'd you think of this? I think we can all agree there's one too many judges. <laughs> <laughs> all right, keep it going for Fujiko. Keep it going for Matt. Your major, get the fuck out of here and get drunk, all right? It's a work night, and this is all you have. Get the fuck out of here, you two. Oh, man. They're gonna make a porno that I'm definitely buying later. All right, you guys are amazing. I appreciate it. Uh, first of all, before we get out of here, I wanna thank Zany for hosting this term. It's her first year here, and they've been amazing accommodating this insane show. Zany's amazing. We got a Patreon. So your friends that missed it, they can watch this whole show on Monday. Give it up for your servers, Hannah, Lily, Jordan, and Jen. They're taking care of your checks in a moment. You're gonna, they're gonna drive them. Your bartender, David Miles, taking care of you getting drunk. Get hungover tomorrow. 
tricks are dropping. And then finally, your panelists, the amazing Kevin Callum, Nathan, Tito, Brandon, Mizra. I'm Chris. I love you all. Get drunk, have a great night. Thank you for coming out to the Rose Medal Finals, man. Folks, we got merch over here in the corner. $20 t-shirts, $5 koozies, five. Hey, thanks for watching Rose Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.